so I'm about to kill the Wither Boss and get another star. Lost it finally. And boom! The Nether Star. Just what I came for. So, remember to like and subscribe. In this video, I'm showing you how to create and fully power a beacon. The beacon. So here's links to some of my videos that will be used, used in this video. So, the iron farm and the wither. So, that's the wither. Okay. And that's the auto farm, which will have the iron farm, which will be used in this video. So, you can just pop, rewind it and pause it. So that way you can type it in in your computer. Or write it on a piece of paper. So that way you can do it later after this video. You can mine if you like. But I'm using an iron farm. It's much, much more efficient. I love my iron farms. So, it's been a while now. So, yep, there's a lot of iron in here. This isn't nearly enough to complete the beacon though. It might only make Tyler one out of the four Tylers. So we're starting on working on Tyler four. The Tyler four is nine by nine for one beacon, 10 by 10 for four beacons, nine by 10 for two beacons, for six beacons, which will allow you to have every power you need you only 10 by 11 but I'm doing one beacon which is 9 by 9 so you might want to count this out or else you might be over a bit and then you have to leave room to add another beacon if you fill too much, you'll have room for another beacon. And you might not want that, but you might want another beacon. The beacons are so awesome. They can give you regeneration, haste, swiftness, strength. They're the king of any block. You can get jump boost. You can even make, use them for extreme parkour courses. Let's jump boost two. So I'm back. And let's see. Whoa, look at all this iron. Ooh, this is bound to make us some blocks. It takes nine iron to make one block. And it will take 81 blocks for the first layer. <laughs> then the next layer, 49, and then 25, then 9. So, you're finding the area to determine how many blocks you need. So when I say 9 by 9, you have to also fill in the middle. That's the perimeter, but you're turning it into area on the inside. So, I'll have more than enough blocks to complete this layer. So, this is what the bottom of a Tyler 4 beacon looks like. And now we're working on the second level of a Tyler 4 beacon. And they're awesome. If you could have them all around your game, that would be so great. I wish that beacons were easier to get. But they're awfully valuable. Yes. Beacons. I love them. 
so yeah beacons they're so great but now i'm low on hunger i gotta eat 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 i need to eat i need to eat so i now have enough food which is great Food is awfully useful. So, trust me, I tried. This does not work if you turn off mob spawning. The iron farm doesn't work with the iron golden spawn there and get killed, but they cannot spawn if mob spawning is turned off. So, okay, I think that. This should be a decent amount of iron. So let's go see what this does to our beacon. I should at least be getting close to finishing the slayer with this much. We'll see how much it is. I'm wondering, this might actually be enough. Okay. That's an okay spot that I don't have to make a pickaxe for. But you might consider using the pickaxe. But my pickaxe... It's in my inventory, but you can always craft an iron one so you don't have to make a new one. Okay. So... It was enough to reach working on Tyler 3 of a Tyler 4 beacon. So it'll just be a pit. Okay, I have enough iron from the time it took me to do that to craft another iron block. How awesome is that? Ooh, iron! So, I just quickly go place my iron block. There, five more till I finish this layer. That's good. So, I've been gone. Now I have 12 iron. Okay, wasn't very long. So, I can now craft another But I have enough iron that I can craft two total iron blocks. Oh, oh I'm going to be three iron blocks away from completing that layer. How awesome is that? So it will take quite a long time, hours of the iron farm to work. You don't want to do netherite beacon because netherite is too rare. If you have enough netherite to spare, then sure you can. Netherite is the rarest worn Minecraft. Okay. So, as you can see, we have a bit more iron. Enough, plus the one iron we had, to make. <gasps> Look, we have two more iron blocks. Is that enough to finish off this beacon? Well, obviously no. Two can two equal three? No, it's only two thirds. So, you just have to wait. So, I just got the 33 iron. Oh, four more iron. That means a block of iron. Which means four more iron for my beacon. Beacon. Beacon, beacon. Oh, beacon, 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 beacon.
Beak, ba 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 beak gun. So you can have four beacons, or nine, or whatever number you choose. I prefer to do six when I usually do it. But for the sake of this video, I'm only going to do one. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have nine iron blocks on the top. That's the final layer other than the beacon. So, the beacon will go right there. I could just use my another pickaxe, but I'm going to show you how you can use your iron to make a pickaxe. So, I'm going to look at my chest. 11 iron, that's perfect! 1 plus 11 is 12, and 12 is just the perfect number I need. I'm going to get two wood blocks. I think that's a good amount. So, I'm going to put my wood blocks in here. So, that crafts that, which crafts an iron pickaxe. Woo! And an iron block. So, that is great. An iron block. So I'll break that. And oh. Why isn't it sensing? Finally! That took forever. The beacon will go right there. Now, I only need five more blocks. So six is one up to over, four, I'm missing one. So yeah. Let's see. Fifty seven iron. That will three left over, and I have six blocks of iron. I have one more block of iron left over. Which you can put towards making your beacon better. Beacon. So let's see what potion. I'll just go with resistance since I can't decide. Yeah, resistance. So, now resistance one and regeneration. I'll have a resistance one and regeneration one. I'm gonna have regeneration only at one, but I could have chosen resistance two instead of regeneration. One and resistance one. So now let's see. I'll try to get these llamas to spin at me so that I can show you what it does. But obviously, my generation will make it so that way I won't n notice it because my armor and the few times that I will deal with attack if I do this for hours, my generation will cover it because of how quickly you regenerate. So I can't use this as an example on how quickly you regenerate. You need something that does more attack. So the beacon, if you stand in it, it looks cool if you look up or down. Okay. You can still watch those videos. Bye, remember to like and subscribe.